10 Most Hated Football Players in the World 10. Ashley Young Poor Ashley Young has a lot of trouble staying on his feet. Perhaps he has an enduring inner ear infection? More likely he has a disgusting inclination to cheat whenever the opportunity arises. The stats speak for themselves. Young won 11 penalties in 200 Premier League games before the end of 2012, and he's continued losing his balance since then. There is nothing wrong with winning penalties when you're genuinely fouled, but even Alex Ferguson said he fell dramatically for one of the penalties he won for Manchester United in the 2011 December season. In the 2013-14 season, he was also warned by David Moyes about his diving. Other managers and pundits have been less careful with their words, blatantly calling him a cheater and diver. He has been booked at least four times in his career for diving. 9. Donny Alves The antics of Donny Alves may be motivated by something far worse than merely winning penalties. Being a full back, Alves doesn't find himself in the opposition penalty area too often. Thus, Alves has adapted by feigning injury and exaggerating tackles in order to get opposition players sent off or booked. One of the most notable examples was against Real Madrid in a Champions League encounter. The video shows how Alves perfectly timed the movement of his leg to look as if he was brutally fouled. The Madrid player was sent off and Barcelona progressed to the next round. His formula of feigning injury until the referee reaches for a card has been repeated numerous times, and he damages the reputation of his great club, Barcelona. 8. Sergio Ramos Sergio Ramos has had a long and distinguished career as Real Madrid's most dirty player. At the time of writing this entry, Ramos has 22 red cards, and holds the La Liga record. With several years to go before he retires, that number will surely rise. Ramos is a notoriously hard-tackling defender with a nasty temper and a penchant for kicking and elbowing his opponents. This has made him a widely hated player, resulting in tirades of laughter when he happens to balloon a penalty into the stands. 7. Ashley Cole There are so many reasons to despise Ashley Cole. Where do we start? He allegedly cheated on his ex-wife Cheryl Cole numerous times until she divorced him. He left the team that developed him into a quality player to get more money from a richer club. When he joined Twitter he faced a torrent of abuse from the thousands of people who hate him and responded by trolling them in ways that only a nasty little brat could imagine. He was convicted of speeding in a residential area, and his lawyer attempted to argue the police speed gun was faulty. He was fined for swearing at a police officer, and he shot a work experience lad with an air rifle. This list will no doubt get longer and longer. 6. Ronaldo, other than his perpetual diving to win fouls and penalties and his tendency to be a petulant whinger, Ronaldo hasn't done a huge amount wrong. Three things may have acted to exaggerate his faults though. First, he played for Manchester United, which always earns you a bad rub of the green. Second, he looks like a Ken doll by wearing earrings and using hair gel. So there is a lot of scorn for this preening boy band look from football fans. Third, he's just a very good football player who will draw fouls from the opposition. Despite this, he achieved notorious levels of hatred during his time in the Premier League, although his diving antics have cooled since coming to Spain. 5. Sergio Busquets, much like his Barcelona teammate Donny Alves, Busquets takes simulation to a new level of ruinous disgust. The two of them have made many football fans despise Barcelona, and that is unforgivable. His antics are worse than all this for the simple reason that he dives far more often and for far more innocuous challenges. In the video, you can see him actually in the process of cheating. 4. Patrice Evra 
There are many words to describe Patrice Evra and most are quite unpleasant, so let's try to fit them all in. He is an angry, petulant, immature, winning toad for his abuse of the captain she of France's World 2010 Cuban Pesos team. He had an argument with one of the coaches and subsequently led a protest of all the players against the coaching staff that ultimately led to his nation's elimination from the tournament. In 2012, he wiped his behind with a French football jersey. He is a nasty, vindictive brat who did more than his fair share in the Luis Suarez racism scandal by goading Suarez into the abuse. 3. Luis Suarez where do we begin with this wretch? For most fans, Luis Suarez first came to hateful prominence when he handballed on the goal line to prevent a certain goal against Uruguay in the 2010 World Cup. With Ajax he bit an opponent, video. Since his move to the Premier League he has been accused of diving after winning a number of penalties for Liverpool. Then there is his ban for racially abusing Patrice Evra. In April 2013, Luis Suarez bid Brynislav Ivanovic in a match against Chelsea. Shockingly, this Uruguayan vampire then bid Giorgio Chiellini in a 2014 World Cup match against Italy. 2. John Terry, for John Terry, there really is no end to the scathing headlines, and most of it is well deserved. Beginning in 2001 he taunted American tourists in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks. In 2002 he urinated in a beer glass which he then dropped to the floor of a nightclub. In the same year, he was charged for assault and a free outside a nightclub. In 2008 he parked his expensive Bentley in a disabled parking space. In 2009 he allegedly gave tours of Chelsea's training ground in return for bribes. Then in 2010 it was revealed that he cheated on his wife and two children by having an affair with a teammate's girlfriend. As if this wasn't enough, he went to trial for allegedly racially abusing Anton Ferdinand during a 2011 football match. 1. Joey Barton, among football fans there is no greater hatred than that reserved for Joey Barton. He is the biggest thug of them all and acts like a criminal on the pitch. He has received numerous red cards, has committed atrocious fouls, and continues to do so despite the attention his thuggery has received. What makes Barton such a hated figure is the way he loses his temper and strikes out at other players. One of the clearest examples came at the end of the 2011-12 Premier League season, as can be seen in the video.